Hello folks, my name is Neil Brown and I am the Luxury Spirits Trainer here for Africa and Eastern and welcome to Path Bar School. In this video I'd like to talk to you a little bit about one of the most important tools you'll ever use behind the bar and that is your jigger. Now some people are very passionate about whether they're free pour or they're jigger pour but for me hospitality is always about consistency. If I'm a customer, I want to come to a bar one day and get exactly the same quality or style of drink that I got last week because that's why I like going to that bar. When it comes to jiggers, it's really important you find one that works for you because there are many different styles and types. My preferred style would be one that has a graduated set of measurements so I can measure anything from maybe 10 mils to 75 mils, building my cocktails as I go. This style is a Japanese style of jigger. Its advantage is that it has on one side 30 mil measurement and on the other side 60 mil measurement. This will change depending on which country you work in and the manufacturer you buy it from. One of the great advantages of having a jigger like this is it allows you to rotate your wrist without too much effort, being able to hold the bottle top in the same hand. When you're rotating your wrist, you're putting less stress on the wrist for a repetitive action that you do many times over the course of a night. Here's an example. We've poured our liquor into a 45 mil measurement and we're pouring it into the glass like this. If we were to do it the other way, we'd be twisting our wrist in a much more aggressive fashion. This will help you in future from developing any repetitive strain injuries. A graduated style of jigger with many measurements in it is perfect for measuring more than one cocktail all in one go without having to put your jigger back down on the bar top. For example, you can pour your 40 mils of rye for your Manhattan, then pick up your sweet vermouth and pour it into the same jigger in the correct ratios before depositing it into your mixing glass. It's also important to note that measurements any less than 10 mils, jiggers won't be appropriate. You're gonna to have to use a different measuring instrument. This is most commonly done with bar spoons. Now bar spoons come in different sizes, somewhere between larger style of bar spoons like a five mil measurement or smaller style of bar spoons, like a three mil measurement. Anything smaller than this will usually come in a dasher bottle, which is situated on the bar top and can be measured in numbers of dashes. Remember folks, consistency in hospitality is so important, so use those jiggers at any moment possible.